Hello students of grade 10. My name is Miss Nisha Bamfield and I will be your facilitator for today. In our office administration lesson for today, we will be looking at record management, the centralized and decentralized process. Our objectives for today are to define centralized and decentralized record management and to differentiate between the centralized and decentralized record management systems. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define centralized and departmental record management systems, differentiate between centralized and decentralized management systems, and list the advantages and the disadvantages concerning centralized and departmental record management systems. Let us begin. Centralized. A centralized record center is one in which all physical documents are located in one central location. The location is controlled by the record management department staff. Additionally, the number of people in the records department will depend on the size of the organization and the number of persons utilizing those records. Decentralized. A decentralized record center is one in which the physical documents are located across the entire office. This may mean they can be found in end users' offices, workstations, or on work programs, or in workroom spaces. Unlike a centralized record center, where the files are controlled exclusively by the records department, a decentralized location is controlled by the end user who creates the file. Records management. Risk and Go define records management as the systematic control of recorded information from creation to final disposal. Kennedy and Shuttered add that records management is an organizational function of managing records to meet organizational or operational business needs, accountability requirements, and community expectations. Record management focuses on procedures and systems for the creation, storage, retrieval, and disposal of an organization's record. Differentiating between centralized and decentralized management systems. Centralization is a business structure in which one individual makes the important decisions and provides the primary strategic direction for the company. Most small businesses fall into this category. The owner makes all the decisions regarding products, services, strategic decisions, and most other significant areas within the organization. However, a business does not have to be small to be centralized. Apple, for instance, is an example of a centralized management structure. Most of the decision-making responsibility lies with the chief executive officer, Tim Cook, who assumed the leadership role within Apple following the death of Steve Jobs. Decentralization is a business structure in which the decision making is made at various levels of the organization. Typically, decentralized businesses are divided into smaller segments or groups in order to make it easier to measure the performance of the company and the individuals within each subgroup. The centralized system, one department is given the responsibility of keeping and managing all the files in the whole organization. This department is referred to as the registry. In the decentralized system, the decentralized filing 
also known as departmental filing, has each department being responsible for its own filing system. Advantages of a centralized departmental or document management system. Number one, security. Overseeing a large inventory of records across several departments, accessible to multiple employees and users, is difficult. The sheer volume of documents makes it easy for someone to steal sensitive personal or corporate information. Centralized document management enhances file security so your customers and employees are less prone to identity theft. A record storage service keeps your files safe in one protected location also known as a record center. This specialized facility is designed for protection and management of documents and features advanced security and access control systems. Only background screened record management personnel are allowed entry. Inside the facility, they manage and organize your records will facilitate the following strict chain of custody protocols. Question. Storing records on paper may offer ease of access to information. For example, storing in a filing cabinet in one's office. So, because storage requirements for space is costly, do you believe that this is true or false? If you indicated true, you are correct. Here is why. This is so because office space cost is constantly increasing. As the amount of documents within the office increases, demand for filing and storage facilities increases as well, thus resulting in increased costs. Efficiency. Searching for files takes up valuable time and often delays key business decisions. Centralized document management makes filing less tedious and optimizes the workflow. Your record management and storage provider use a state-of-the-art inventory management database to track every file. An online document retrieval system allows you, the user, to view your inventory and request documents at any time. You can have your files hand-delivered or sent digitally to your desktop with a scan-on demand service. Cost. Maintaining a broad footprint of hard copy documents is expensive especially since office rental spaces in London, among many other nations, are amongst the highest in the world. Centralized document management allows for consolidation of your files to a single affordable storage space. A record center's high-density shelving unit eliminates internal document storage costs, so your organization is profitable in the long run. Compliance. A decentralized approach to document management makes controlling, retention, and disposal requirements difficult. The General Data Regulation, GDPR, gives regulators the power to impose stiff 
penalties on companies that fail to keep personal data private during the retention life cycle. Non-compliant organizations can face fines up to 20,000 pounds or 4% of total worldwide annual turnover. Storing your files in one secure location ensures your organization receives expert record retention and disposition oversight. Limitations of centralized document management filing. Number one, records may become more vulnerable since they are stored in one central location. Number two, it may cause delay in bringing records to the central office since most office staff require several documents at the same time. Three, the risk of loss due to fire, theft, and the like is more since all the documents are stored in one place. Four, the filing department may enforce rules and procedures rigidly regarding receiving and returning the files. This may affect the smooth functioning of functional department operations. Five, more human resources and time are spent on locating and returning the files at precious time. Six, sometimes the same documents or records are required by more than one department. It creates strained relationship among staff. Seven, it is very difficult to maintain secret and confidential documents. Eight, if specialized staff are not appointed in the filing department, there may be a large number of misfiling. Nine, the filing department may become a storage place of unwanted and unnecessary documents. 10. If some papers or pages are missed, it is very difficult to find such papers and no possibility of fixing the responsibility on anybody's part. 11. The centralized filing is not suitable if the organization has its own functional department in different geographical areas. Question. Records are efficiently managed if they can be found quickly and without fuss or bother when they are needed. True or false? If you indicated true, you are correct. Here is why. Records are said to be efficiently managed if they are kept organized, labeled, and stored in its correct order, and constant updating is done when they are retrieved, distributed, used, and returned. The decentralized records center advantages. This system ensures secrecy of documents and enables the individual departments to carry on their work independently and effectively. This system saves time. If any document is needed, it can be made available promptly without any delay. This ensures quick action. Specialized knowledge about the concerned documents will eliminate the chances for misfiling. Thus, safety of papers is ensured. When chances for misfiling are more in the centralized filing system, 
decentralized filing is the only remedy. Since the papers are located within the same department, they can be obtained at any time. The staff members need not to go to the central filing section and get the required file. Reference is thus easy and quicker. If various departments are geographically dispersed, departmental filing alone is suitable and economical. The department staff normally does the filing work themselves. Hence, additional costs for appointing specialized staff for the filing department is avoided. The juniors will get sufficient training. In case of emergency, they can be transferred to the central filing department to assist where necessary. The decentralized record center disadvantages. One, no standardized procedure shall be followed throughout the organization. The filing equipment will not also be standardized. Consequently, confusion will prevail in the office. The receiving clerk shall find it inconvenient in sorting out the incoming mail. Two, when a paper or document is concerned with more than one department, Copies of such documents should be taken out and sent to various departments. This will result in unnecessary duplication of work. Three, additional space and equipment should be provided in each functional department. This factor will increase the cost of filing operations. Four, advantages of specialization are not possible in a decentralized filing system. Usually, one or two staff members in each department will look after this work besides their original task. Since it is an additional workload, they will not perform filing operations effectively. There will be no uniformity in filing procedures. Each department will adopt its own procedure, which may be totally different to that of another. Six, departmental filing lacks supervision. Therefore, control of filing becomes a difficult process. Coordination will also become difficult. Seven, specialist filing staff cannot be appointed in each department due to the additional costs involved. And should this occur, the company will incur a death. Eight, under decentralized filing system, movement of files cannot be controlled. This in turn leads to files being misled and difficulty in locating files quickly a possibility. We have come to the end of today's lesson on decentralized and centralized filing or management systems. Here you will find the lesson takeaway for today. And you are expected to complete each of the following questions in your notebook. Question number one, which of the following is not a common goal of an organization? A, operational efficiency, B, being acquired by another business, C, achieving strategic goals, D, measuring financial performance. Two, which of the following does not describe a management control system? A, establishes a company's strategic goal. B, implements a company's strategic goal. C, monitors a company's strategic goal. D, a system that only measures profitability.
Three, in centralized organizations, primary decisions are made by A, an individual at the top of the organization, B, various managers throughout the organization, C, outside consultants, and D, low-level management. Number four, a key advantage of a decentralized organization is A, increased administrative costs, B, quicker decisions and response time, C, the ease of aligning segment and company goals, D, duplication of records. Five, strategic decisions occur. A, frequently and involve immediate decisions. B, frequently and involve long-term decisions. C, infrequently and involve long-term decisions. D, infrequently and involve immediate decisions. Number six, list three ways each in which small and large scale businesses organize and operate the record management systems. My name is Ms. Nisha Bamfield, and I was happy to be your facilitator for today. Thank you for paying apt attention.